This is the entrance from the bedroom into the ensuite area. And you first enter this vestibule. What I love about this is the detail that we did, uh, which is similar to the bedroom. We did the panel details in the same blue as the bedroom, but instead of the grass cloth, we did mirror. So this whole area has mirror, and it's great because you can see yourself from different angles. Now adjoining this is the closet, and we did a walk-in closet with doors on it, and I often like if the closet is open to a room to have doors on all the clothing. To lighten it up, we did frosted glass panels, these simple pilasters, and a fluted detail on the door. Really pretty area. Now what I really like in closets is a bench, and it's really practical to be able to put things on or get dressed. The great thing about this bench is it's actually hampers, so you can stick all your dirty laundry and dry cleaning in there. One of the things that's important in some bedrooms and some dressing rooms is a bar fridge, and this is great. It's situated here, and you can have juice or waters kept in there, or for some people, medication that has to be kept cool. In this area, we have all the mirror, and there's this great window that looks out into the garden. So the makeup table was put below that, and we've lowered the sconces so they're at the appropriate height when the homeowner is sitting. Adjacent to this is the bathroom, and we did really soft. We actually did the contrast in this. We did cream with the blue accents. So the room is paneled. We did this lovely arch, and it really adds this classical detail to the space and really creates an alcove for the tub and the soft blue wallpaper. Up here, we also did another barrel vaulted ceiling. Again, when building a house, if you have the attic space, it's great to take advantage of it and emphasize that with this beautiful nickel fixture. We've taken the nickel into this vanity area, and we had these simple legs made in nickel, and they support a marble vanity counter. And it's really a very elegant detail for the space. Again, the panel moldings, it's a really simple thing to do, and just simple mirror in them above each sink. In this instance, we've put the sconces on the side, and that's better because the light's coming from the sides and not necessarily in the mirror, which is a little too narrow uh, to put the sconces in. Now we have two doors here. One is clear, this is the shower, and then we frosted the door into the water closet, which again, we painted and put the wallpaper above. It's a very sort of spa-like effect, but has that classical detail of the rest of the house.